these words, Erich von Drigalski was awakened by his first mate early on 24th of February 1901. Four months earlier, his research vessel Gauss had left the port of Kiel headed for the South Pole. Enduring severe hardship and without creature comforts, Drigalski and his crew of 32 had finally arrived at their destination, the coastal region of the Antarctic. Six watches made by Ah Lange and Zune were on board as well. Since the end of the 19th century, Ah Lange and Zune had been crafting timepieces that were not just ordinary pocket watches. Thanks to their high rate accuracy, large dials, and ruggedness, they were specially suitable for scientific applications observation watches. They were deployed not only on land and the high seas, but also in the air. In 1935, the Zeppelin Yard purchased the large observation watches number 83192 and 83193 from Ah Lange and Zonne. They were indispensable instruments for airship navigation and airspace safety. Moreover, Many scientists in Germany use these dependable and precise timepieces. Throughout its entire history, Ah Lange and Zune was eager to support the sciences with new and precise time measuring instruments. This applies mainly to Ferdinand Adolf Lange and his firstborn son, Richard Lange. When he joined the company in 1868, it was renamed to Ah Lange and Zunge. During his entire life, Richard Lange was inspired by the idea of overcoming mechanical limits and conquering new dimension in precision watchmaking. He can take credit for no fewer than 27 patents. Thus, he discovered that adding beryllium to alloys used for hairsprings perceptibly improved their elasticity, hardness, and temperature resistance. This revolutionary discovery was the basis for the invention of the Niverock spring that still beats inside most mechanical watches. More than 70 years after Richard Lange's death, Ah Lange and Zona has built a watch that pays tribute to a great pioneer. It is a masterpiece reflecting the company's tradition in scientific observation watches and lays claim to the ultimate imperfection. The Richard Lange.